Hi guys, John the Bearded Vampire here. Welcome to another video. Um, kind of like a service one, kind of like a kind of my opinions, my views kind of thing. Um, not going to get too heavy, but it's kind of a bit of a serious issue. Um, as we all know at the moment, we've got this Black Lives Matter. Oh, the phone, camera's going all focusy. Um, we've got the Black Lives Matter and stuff like that. Last This month, currently, it is Gay Pride Month. Um, we've got a lot going on, stuff like that. Um, lots of things in the news about people being slammed for things that they've done in the past. Um, all sorts of stuff going on at the moment. Uh, you know, people apologising for blackface and racially ha hatred stuff and kind of all sorts of stuff um, and I just want to put in my kind of views on it you know um, not really the sort of stuff I'm trying to do obviously a lot in the channel at the moment I want to try and keep it all positive and mental health and that stuff but you know I just feel it's kind of like I need to get this off my chest because it's bugging me you know, it's people apologising for for saying stuff and doing things in their past, um, and being slammed for it, um, and being kind of kicked off social networks and streaming platforms and TV shows and all sorts, and it's like. I get why people are angry that they've done these things in the past. But, you know, humans have this thing where we evolve. We are allowed to change our opinions. We are allowed to change our views through experience and information. Um, we adapt, we evolve, we change. That's what human nature is all about. Um, so condemning someone for something they said in their past, um, I think is a little bit kind of harsh. Um, I won't say names because there's so many going on, but the general idea is these people have done something in the past, whether it be blackface or commented and made racial jokes, and they are now apologising for it. Yes, it is good that they are apologising. They have realised the errors of their ways. They have realised that at the time it might have been acceptable. I mean, it's not. It's never always okay, but it's more acceptable in the past to do these things. What it is now. Um, but they've realised that it's wrong. They've apologised for it, some a little bit more sincerely than others. Um, but, you know, they've, they've realised their mistakes, they've changed, they've learnt, and they've moved on. But for people that can't get past that, and are condemning them to, like, a lifetime of shame, I think is a bit wrong. You know, accept the apology, realise that they've they've acknowledged that they've made a mistake and let them move on with their lives. You know, it can work the other way around. A really good person in the past, through whatever happens in their life, could become a nasty person. I give for you an example. Um, it's a movie, it's not a real life scenario, but it is a movie. Um, American History X starts off with Edward Norton plays a neo-Nazi. In his past, he was a decent, upholding, law-abiding citizen. His dad was a bit racist. His dad got killed by a black guy. I mean, I'm not saying it's, it's right or wrong, 
but that's what the film does. That's what the film. That's what happens in the film. You don't see it, but they talk about it. Um, at the time, there was a neo-Nazi presence in the town, um, and through like going through, as you learn in the film, you know, he kind of was persuaded to become a neo-Nazi, he become racist, and so on, shaved his hair, get Nazi swastika tattoos, blah, 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 blah. You know, through persuasion and coincidences and situations that were out of his control, he learnt to hate black people. Um, so therefore, he was a good person, but it came bad. But, again, in the film, as it goes, while he was in prison for murdering a black guy, he learned that what he did then was wrong. And so tried to become a new person. He learned from his mistake. People, some people accepted that he'd learned from his mistakes, some people didn't, some people wanted him to be back to being the new Nazi, blah, 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 blah. But the fact is, he learned from his mistake of being the neo Nazi. But before the neo Nazi, he was a decent person. You know, so things happen in our lives, dictate how we act at specific points in our lives. I've done bad things. I'm not going to talk about it. But I've done something really bad, so bad that. Family members don't even talk to me anymore. You know, it's... Some people have accepted it. Some people are like, well, that was you then, but not you now. You know, I've learnt from my mistakes. And I no longer am that person. You know, that doesn't mean to say that I should be condemned to a lifetime of misery. You don't condone it. You know, it's part of my past. I've got to live with that. In the same way that these people who have done blackface and racial hatred have got to learn, with, got to learn to live with their past. It's the same as society as a whole. You know, we're getting rid of all these statues and trying to say no, the past isn't right. We know it's not right. Again, that's why we evolve and we become better people because of it. We had black slaves, but people at the time, over the years, realised that it was wrong. They learnt from their mistakes and gave black people rights. It's the same as the gay community. The gay community had virtually no rights. They had absolutely no, no rights. But through time, people learned that that was a mistake. They learned from their mistakes and gave them rights. It is the same with everything that happens. You learn from your mistakes. You adapt. You evolve. You change. You become a better person from the past that you have done. You know, so... Condemning people for what they've done in the past. Condemning society for what we've done in the past. You know, that is wrong. You know, don't be happy about it, of course. You know, say, you know, you, you've done this in the past, you know, that, that was wrong. But by all means, acknowledge the fact that they themselves have acknowledged that they've done wrong. And acknowledge the fact that they are trying to do right by it. You know, it's... I think it's a bit silly that people are just condemning people to a lifetime of misery over something they've done in the past when as I say, you know, it can happen both ways. As I just said with the, the American History X, you know, he started off as a decent guy. But through things, you know anyone can turn bad. You know, through situations out of their control. You know, I might become racist. Something might happen in my personal life that might make me a racist. It's highly unlikely, but you don't know. Would that make me a bad person? 
will that make my past as a good person be less worthwhile because I was now a bad person? Does my net worth, you know, does one bad action can kind of, um, what's the word, one bad action, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. You know, does one bad action dictate what a person is? Does one good action dictate what a person is? No, you take that person as a whole. They've done bad, they've done good. They are now trying to be just a person. It doesn't matter. You know, just let, let people be what they want to be. You know, if they've done bad, they've done bad. But if they're trying to be good, you know, you can't say, oh no, you've done bad. You're going to be a bad person for the rest of your life. You can't turn around and say, you're good, you're going to be a good person for the rest of your life. You know, it's... Things evolve, things change. Um, yeah, I'm going to still stop. Um, repeating myself now so I'm going to leave it here but I say that's my general thoughts and the idea you know you can't condemn people for things that they've done in the past you can't condemn society for things that they've done in the past we change we evolve we learn from past mistakes we become better people we become a better society you know it's that's why I'm going to leave it I think just look for the future. You know, how a person was in the past isn't what a person's going to be like in the future. It's not how they're going to be like in the present. So look for the future. Don't look in the past. Look to the future. Goodbye.